such a craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another one on the street. Oh, baby, I am gleaming with this paparazzi jewelry. Do you see it just shining off the camera? And when my light hit it, oh, oh, and then I got the earrings too. All right, but enough about me. Let's get into this video, honey. But you know, we gotta go straight to make sure you like comment subscribe do all that good stuff you know i'm trying to get back in the groove with things i took the day off because mother nature called okay all my females y'all know what that means so i could not get on this camera and try to do how i do and my belt and my butt was in pain no ma'am no sir no child okay so i'm um, feeling a little bit better i was gonna consider not doing it today but i said no i gotta give the people what they want all right but like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you have. Um, subscribe to me. Thank you for rocking with me. Please share my videos so another person can get a laugh as well. Because today we're going to be talking about Miss Kenya Moore. Yes, we're still rocking with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, now, I didn't know Bravo did this to you, girl. But allegedly, Bravo gave Kenya Moore an ultimatum. Like... You're going to be on here and give us some ratings. Or you're going to dance your way on to Dancing with the Stars and give them some ratings. Which one is going to be, Kenya? Twirl. 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 <laughs> Who would you give me with that? But, damn, I got dizzy. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, they allegedly gave her an ultimatum. So, you know, I had to come on the screen and get my little two cents in and figure out what the hell going on. Uh, ultimatum. Oh. Mm. Okay, so I'm getting this from the jazzandbrand.com. And it says that Kenya Moore almost missed her chance to be on Dancing with the Stars because of Bravo. Mm. The reality star has said a spot on the show's current 30th season is a dream come true. But new reports allege that Bravo previously tried to make her choice between Dancing with the Stars and Real Housewives of Atlanta an ultimatum. Now, how you going with <laughs> you know me? Let me flip my hair, okay? It's not all mine, but I paid for it, so it's mine, all right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on here, B Team Twirl at Crazy as Hell. Or do what I wanted to do when I was a baby girl, like a dream, because it was a dream of hers, and dance and still be on TV. Okay, which one is bigger as far as my bag, my coins, my money, my guap? Which one is going to have more in my bank account at the end of the season? Okay, this one or this one? Which one? That's how I'm going to pick. Okay. Okay. I'm back. iPhones and their storage and all that. But I'm back. So let's just go on before it cut me off again. So it said, Kenya Moore joined Real Housewives of Atlanta back in the fifth season, which was in 2012. Housewives Production Insider said that Kenya Moore was first asked about being on Dancing with the Stars. She checked with Real Housewives of Atlanta production team true entertainment and didn't get and you know a you can't go okay she didn't get no no yes no so she just said hell i go on and join the celebrity dance competition but when news spread that she would be on dancing with the stars bravo allegedly told her she could only do one show hold up wait a minute I need multiple bags coming in, okay? We can't have this just one bag going to serve all, everything. No, I need multiple bags coming from everywhere I can get it because you just never know what avenue I can step my foot in and make some coins off of, okay? So, Bravo, you know you're wrong for that. You know you, but I think it's some dealing with the contract, too. Whatever they had, that's why you got to read that fine print, y'all. Y'all got to read them contracts with a fine-tooth comb. And then have somebody else read it just to make sure you read the same thing. Because them words and them contract can be tricky. You know, they be having the contracts about this damn phone. No, ma'am, no, sir, no, child. I can't do it. Okay? 
So definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout when you buying a house, buying a car, anything that dealing with a contract that legally binds you to something. Yes, let me look over it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the time. I'm gonna have to get my nerves, my patience right because I need to know what I'm getting myself in. Okay, sorry y'all, it's my phone, but. I'm going to do this a little bit fast, but it said, but when news spread that she would be on Dancing with the Stars, Bravo allegedly told her she could only do one show, even though NeNe and Kim had been on Dancing with the Stars before. So do I see a little discrimination? Okay. Allegedly. Um, while Bravo ultimately gave in and allegedly refused to let her be on both shows at the same time, she she's gonna be on both shows the network will not show king your more than oh the shade the net, well i guess it's really not shade because they're trying to promote what's going on with atlanta not what's going on with dancing with the stars but it says the network will not show king your more dancing with the stars experience on Red house of atlanta instead when her time on the show comes to an end she'll return and to Atlanta to begin filming for... Oh, okay. So, they're going to let her do Dancing with the Stars. But when she done there, she can come on back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. But, I mean, I guess in a way that's kind of fair because you can't... You know, both schedules are going to collide. So, I guess that is what it is. What y'all think about Bravo giving Kenya Moore, Team Twirl, an ultimatum? You either going to stay over here and ride with us or you going to go over there and ride with them. What it is? Like I said, which bigger bag? What's the what, what bag is bigger? Uno or dos? Ah, peace.